Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I am just impulsively coloring my hair, but I am still thinking this through like a true colorist. Color correction or color cancellation theory. Sorry, it's 4th of July right now. I don't know if you hear that. It sounds like gunshots. It's the 4th, so people are doing fireworks everywhere. So this is my color wheel, and I know that's blurry, but you can see the colors way better. If you have blue hair, and you're trying to neutralize it. Now that doesn't mean get it lighter, most likely means getting it darker, but just covering up the color and canceling it out. The best way to cancel those tones out beforehand is basically just doing the opposite color to your hair. Canceling those tones with the opposite tone neutralizes them and makes both colors invisible, but it leaves behind either something on the scale of gray to brown to black white to silver to gray. Wow. A lot of fireworks going on. I don't know if it just sounds like a good nasty beat hitting. That was the most stupid thing I've ever said. I'm going to be canceling both sides out before. This side is teal. If you look at teal, it's sort of in between blue and green. So in between blue and green is somewhere in between red and pink. This is yellow green. So yellow green falls somewhere on opposite to that is a pinky purple. But the best way for me to absolutely test this out because I just remembered this is the real method that I do. So I'm going to go on my phone right now. I'm turning up my light all the way so you guys can see better. I'm going to go on to... So I'm going on to PixArt and then I go to negative, and then basically that's what it is. Oh my god, there's a, there's a moth in my room. That is how I can figure out exactly what color is going to cancel out this color, and it might make it slightly mauve purple at first, but that is the first step to neutralizing, because my plan is to put some black over all of this, except the bangs, so I'm going to be leaving my bangs out. Purple Rain by Arctic Fox, Coral Pink by Lunar Tides, but I do think that this is mixed with some other peachy tones. Electric Paradise. Up above, you'll see a card pop up. How to color your hair for beginners at home. This is a good method if you want to avoid bleaching or using any harsh removers whenever you're changing your color. If you are using color cancellation as a way to change your color, just know that over time you are overlapping layers of pigment on your hair and that will only result in your hair getting darker and darker each time to use color cancellation. So if your hair is blue, the next color you could go is either green or purple. If your hair is red, you could let that fade out and do pink or you could do orange. So to prep for changing your hair color, you should start off by clarifying your hair with non-color safe shampoo for about three weeks. Wash it multiple times each time you shower and follow with a moisturizing conditioner afterwards because anytime you're stripping your hair, you're making it much drier. You can also fade your hair faster by sitting in sunlight more often and also chlorine and salt water actually gets color out really fast. So maybe go on a vacation if you're trying to change your hair color. So I left this on my head for about two hours. Semi-permanents need to process for a minimum of 25 minutes or a maximum of five hours if you have that much time on your hands. I like to encapsulate it by putting a plastic bag on my head. Okay guys, so it is the next night. This, like I said, is just an underlayer, like an, a color that goes under what I'm doing. This is a lot more resistant because this is newer hair and the ends are a lot more porous, which is why it took the color more. Um, but that also will fade faster, so I'm glad that it's darker on the ends because the black won't fade as fast. Obviously these colors are ugly because neutralization can range anywhere from like gray to brown 
I'm happy with the results that we have here. Green won't really peek through as much. And also I knew that my hair was kind of dirty because at the end of the day I'm just slapping black on it afterwards. Um, but I decided I'm just going to do Manic Panic Raven. And I'm actually going to be diluting it with some conditioner. This is Formulate. It's a personalized conditioner. It's really, really good quality. It's just as good as like my deep conditioning masks. I don't ever use cheap conditioner anymore. So like even when I'm diluting products, I'm using like the good stuff because I just I just use the best in my hair since it's really at its worst uh, condition at the moment. So I'm diluting it because I don't want my black to last super long, but I want it to look nice. So um, I'm diluting it. And I also want to make more because I'm covering my extensions with it as well. Eating hot Cheetos. As long as you're not putting more conditioner than dye, it's not going to be too different. Like I'm really just softening the color a bit so it's not too hard for me to remove once I decide I want to change it. I I like to put oils in my hair. Like I like my hair to be dirty when I'm coloring it because I don't want it to last that long. But if you want your color to last long, make sure your hair is clean. Make sure the product is not too diluted. Make sure like you're applying everything really nicely. It's just um I'm I'm a little different and I know I know that, so you don't have to follow all my rules. This is just me showing you how I do my stuff. When I'm working in the salon, I wear gloves every time. Like, I wear gloves if I touch anything, but for some reason here, I just don't care so much. Instead of shampooing out my semi-permanent color, I just rinse super duper well with lukewarm water, and I use my fingertips to glide across my scalp in order to make sure there's no color left over. And then I use a conditioner to coat the cuticle to kind of seal in that color and add some shine and manageability to the hair. And I also apply the conditioner to my scalp and give myself a little scalp massage. This can stimulate your follicles for healthy hair growth, as well as moisturizing your scalp after probably freshly bleaching it. Using hot or super warm water can actually swell the cuticle and melt away excess pigmentation in the hair. So just keep in mind that when you're rinsing your color or when you have your head underwater at all, you should turn down the temperature just a little bit. You don't have to torture yourself with super cold water, but just make sure it's lukewarm or just a little bit cooler than that. Generally avoid keeping your head underwater for long periods of time when you aren't actively trying to rinse it out. And if you're hanging out in the bath or in a pool or in the ocean, just keep your head above water as much as possible and that is only if you're trying to prevent your color from fading. Okay guys, so it is all done and obviously my hair looks longer. I put in my extensions to see how well they blend. This is really the full result other than uh, the color of my bangs. Because what I'm going to do next is um, clarify them like three times, which is just like the, the strongest shampoo that will like remove the excess color. If I really need to, I might throw some like soft blonde lightener with gentle on it, with like six volume basically. But I wanted to make it like smoky pastel purple to match some of the ends, because these ends have like, they're very cloudy and smoky but it's slight rainbow tones. I'll show you guys my extension piece just to see like how much of it I colored black, but I brought it down to about there and I feathered it down. Like these are perfect for my length because my shortest pieces back here are like this short. And if this sits under there like that, black extends about an inch further down. So it blends it pretty well. I'm happy with it. There's a three clip, a three clip, and a four clip and two single clips on the side. Um, and this is VP Fashion Extensions, by the way. From VP Fashion, I have a discount code and a link in the description if you're interested.